the hive is one of the most popular servers on Minecraft Bedrock. So this means that a ton of new people log on to the hive every single day. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over five stereotypes on the hive. So the first stereotype can be found in basically any of the Hive game modes. I think the best example though is got to be Treasure Wars. I like to call this person the big headed one. This player thinks they're so unbelievably good at the game when in reality they're average at best. And I don't mean people who say they are good ironically, I mean the people that are awful at the game but just think they're really good for some reason. They typically try to pull off the extremely popular moves like trapping, block clutching, but they fail almost every time. They attempt to bridge and oops, they end up in the void. So trust me, you don't want to be the big headed one. These people are extremely annoying as well, by the way. Even when you've beaten them five times back to back to back to back in PvP, they have an entire list of excuses that they read off. So if you're the big headed one in the group, try and walk the walk before talking the talk. So the next stereotype is not exclusive to the Hive, but you do see it on the Hive a ton. And I call this population of players the Skin Sweats. Okay, that name sounds a little bit better on my head if I'm going to be honest, but once I've explained it, it will make sense. I'm sure we've all seen them very popular black and white skins on the Hive or basically any other Minecraft server ever. And my god, are these people normally insane at the game? You can rock a classic black and white skin on the Hive or basically any Minecraft server. It looks pretty cool. Usually means you're quite good at the game. But what's worse than coming up against one of these guys? It's coming up against two. That's right. Duos love having matching black and white skins. They love having matching skins in general, but the classic black and white ones are the most notable. So if you see a duo of matching style skins running towards you in no matter what game mode it is, it normally is a bit of a panic moment. Now, sure, there's exceptions to the rule. Just because I put on the black on my skin doesn't mean that all of a sudden I'm insane at the game. But usually, they're pretty good. And for number three, it is about time that we do a game mode exclusive. And this game mode exclusive is on Treasure Wars. Now, there's a lot of these players. Some good, some bad, some in between. All you know for sure is that their first five golds will go straight towards blocks. That's right, the next one up is the Russia. They instantly get blocks, instantly bridge the diamond generator, and as fast as the speed of light get their treasure. And now it's time to do what any good Russia would do. Get that kill that we need. Let's go, let's go. I'm sorry, sir, but there's only one way this can end. And that is why a lot of players are the Russia. Rushing is probably the most used tactic in Treasure Wars. I also try to do as much as I can myself. And so to be honest, this one isn't an embarrassing one to be. If you're the rusher of the friend group, there's a lot of respect around that. Moving on to number four of this video, it's on survival games. That's right, we're back on survival games. You know the drill. But this time, we're here to discuss someone that we've never discussed before. And one of the few reasons why I think a lot of people dislike this game mode. That's right, the next one is an arachnophobe's worst nightmare. It's none other than the cobweb spammer. As soon as this person lays their eyes on a single cobweb, they are made up. Oh, cobwebs, yes, come on. You get near the cobweb spammer, you'll know about it. Because instantly you're bombarded by an insane amount of cobwebs. And all of a sudden you can't move. They've got you in the trap. Now they just repeatedly hit you until your inevitable death. And on that note, let's see this plan in action. I've got four cobwebs, an iron sword. I've only got a chain chest plate and an iron helmet. So usually I would not be that confident in PvPing someone. In fact, here they are. I could see someone and bam. Catch me with the cobwebs. Okay, maybe, maybe I'm not so great at cobweb spamming. But usually a cobweb spammer would catch you in the webs. And then you're at a major disadvantage for the rest of the 1v1. And ladies and gentlemen, how could we forget this one? It's the stereotype I get called multiple times a day. It's probably the most popular stereotype in the history of gaming. That's right. It's the noob. Now this guy. Oh no. If you're doing random duos and you get put with this person, I'm so sorry. This person barely knows where the gold generator is. You'll see your grand move faster than this in the menu. And after five minutes, when they finally get the loot they needed, 
They don't know how to bridge. So here they are with the fastest bridging the world will ever see approaching the opposition. In fact, so bad that it seems that, <laughs> that the opposition has teamed. Oh, maybe not, maybe not. Unfortunately, it's straight back to the lobby for the noob. And on that note, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, please do leave a like and subscribe. It helps out more than you can imagine. If you want to see more Hive stereotypes just like this one, then let me know down below in the comment section. Have a great rest of your day, and goodbye!